Welcome back to week one of the NFL season and Madden 24. And today we'll be having a divisional showdown between Jimmy G and the Raiders versus Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. This will be a matchup in the AFC West and we shall see how Jimmy Garoppolo will fare under McDaniel's offense and how Russell Wilson will do with Sean Payton. Do you guys think Russell Wilson will have an up year or do you guys think it'll be a continuation of last year's season? So let's get it off at mile high. The Denver Broncos offense will be receiving the ball for the first half. Let's take a look at Russ's stats last year. He had 3,524 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. I think that was tied for the worst, except for his rookie year. So we'll see if he's washed or if he'll bounce back. And it looks like on this first Broncos drive, Russell Wilson will be in shotgun, tries to scramble, but cannot escape the grasp of Max Crosby. And it looks like in this Madden, Max Crosby has changed his helmet as well from a speed flex to a vices this year. Now let's take a look at Jimmy G in his new threads in a Raiders uniform. And last year with the 49ers, he had 24,037 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. How do you guys think the Raiders will fare this season? It looks like on their first drive, first and 15, it's a play action pass. And Jimmy G tries to scramble, but Jewel hits him and forces the fumble. And number 5, Randy Gregory has a lot of speed and will pick up the fumble and take it to the house. Not how the Raiders wanted to start off the game. And look at Gregory playing his violin with his teammates right there. And what a response by the Broncos defense right there. Jimmy G did not look like he saw Jewel in the rear view mirror. And Randy Gregory just scoops it up and takes it to the house. The Broncos now lead 7-0 over the Raiders. Raiders are looking to answer that miscue, and it's 3rd and 15. Jimmy Garoppolo has a lot of time in the pocket and gets it to a crossing Devontae Adams for a first down. And looks like he is going to celebrate that first down just with his dance moves right there. And here we are again on 3rd down. It's 3rd and 10. Jimmy G has some time in the pocket and gets Devontae Adams on a crossing route once again. And he is in the 5 at the three yard line for first and goal. What a connection for Garoppolo to Adams right there. It is now second and goal for the Raiders at the one and he gives it off to Josh Jacobs, number eight right there. And he easily scores a touchdown. And what do you guys think about the running back situations right across the league as he handshakes with his O lineman right there. And what a great run and jump into the end zone by Josh Jacobs right there. And we are all knotted up at 7. And at the end of the first quarter, we are all knotted up at 7 apiece. And on first and 10, Russell Wilson's looking to go play action. But there's a free runner that gets to the quarterback for a sack. Bringing up 2nd and 19. And bringing to a halt what was once a promising drive. And on 2nd and 10 for the Raiders, they're around midfield. Try and get it past to the middle, but he gets picked off by number 31 on the Broncos defense. What a catch and interception by number 31. That is a pass that Jimmy G would like to have back. And on first and 10, Russell Wilson has a play action pass, but Max Crosby becomes a free runner and strums his guitar and gets to Russell Wilson for the sack, making it second and 15. The Raiders defense has held up and have forced the Denver Broncos to have to settle for a field goal right here. And he gets it through the uprights and with the minute 11 remaining, the Broncos lead 10-7 in the first half. Jimmy G is looking on first down to drive the Raiders into at least field goal territory to try and tie it up before the end of the half. And he floats it in the air and makes a completion to Keelan Cole right there. And once again on 2nd and 10, Jimmy G goes for the same play, but throws a dart to number 87, this year's rookie, Michael Meyer. 
and the Raiders are quickly making their way up the field and he gets it to an outgoing Devontae Adams as he steps out of bounds and now they are at the 13 with 16 seconds remaining in the half. With 11 seconds remaining, Jimmy G gets it to uh, Devontae Adams going on an out route and there we go, Devontae celebrating with his dance and that touchdown only leaves seconds remaining in the first half and makes the Raiders go up 14 to 10 going into the second half. What a pass and what a route and what a catch by Devontae Adams, Jimmy Garoppolo and the Raiders offense. The Raiders start off with the ball this half and it's third and 12 and Devontae Adams cannot make that catch and is picked off by number two PS2 Patrick Sertan right there. Raider defense gets the stop on that drive and number eight Josh Jacobs is going through gets a nice block by Devontae Adams and goes for the spike right there and gets a 20 plus yard rushing touchdown right there. What a great job of blocking and what a great run by Josh Jacobs there. The Raiders now lead 21 to 10 with 244 remaining in the fourth quarter and Russell Wilson throws up that pick and number 23 on the Raiders defense has the ball. Raiders only need one more first down to ice the game and they get it through Devontae Adam but he shakes the defender and you know what who needs a first down when you can get a touchdown with Devontae Adams. There he is driving his football car along with his teammates rolls around and celebrates that touchdown. And what a conversion on third down to not only get the icing first down of the game, but to spin around the defender, juke his way through, and make it to the end zone. Oh, but wait. They are going to go check this and review the play to see if his knee was down before he entered the end zone. Let's take a look at this replay right here. And to me, it might be a little short. And worst case scenario, he might be down at the one. And that angle just kind of looks like the ball might be a little short. So let's see what the referee has to say. And it looks like it will be just a little bit short. First and goal for the Raiders right here. But this deciding not to take the points. They don't need the points anyway. So they're just going to run down the clock, take a knee, be in victory formation, and take the dub. Oh, but I am mistaken. Looks like they're going to run. They're going to do a quarterback sneak and put extra points anyway. Jimmy G's flexing on him, showing his muscles. And just like that, they're going to take a 28-10 to 10 victory. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this week one matchup and what do you guys think the score will be. If you guys like Madden content and want coverage all the way throughout the season, like and subscribe because that's what we'll be doing. Appreciate all the support, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.